Migrant sexually attacked woman after choking her into unconsciousness on UIC campus. This is the second woman on the northwest side, says a Venezuelan migrant has been detained as a public safety threat after prosecutors said he choked a woman to unconsciousness then sexually abused her at the university of illinois campus a chicago campus three hours later prosecutors allege he followed another woman from northwest side cta station and then choked her during a robbery attempt again why are these people here we already got enough problems going on in america but then to go and add these people here that they're not even legally here. I don't care if you come here legally. You got a green card, got a visa, U.S. citizenship, cool. But when you're here illegally, nah, I have no sympathy. During a detention hearing for 28-year-old Elvis Hernandez Pernalet, prosecutors said uh, footage from CTA and USC surveillance cameras showed him following the victim from the UIC Halstead Blue Line station around 8 p.m on march 16th when they reached the 900 block of west harrison hernandez uh, grabbed her from behind and took her to the ground by wrapping his arms around her neck and torso sounds violent to me um video showed hernandez uh pernalet that's the second you know hyphen name or whatnot holding the victim with his legs and choking her into unconsciousness after she passed out, he flipped her onto her stomach and climbed onto her back. He stole her jewelry and touched her bare buttocks and private parts, private areas with his hands and fingers. Quote unquote, he actually admits to the police that he believed that he had killed her and is seen attempting to move the victim's body. And he's cool with that, by the way. If he, if he did that, he, hey, you know, I'm cool with that. This is what happens. You don't vet. Granted, we like I said, we have crime in the U.S., but this is what happens. You don't vet people who are coming over at all. You are just letting random people come over and then you're paying the cartel to allow them to come over too. they said that uh, Hernandez ran when he realized the witness or a witness saw what was happening in an email sent to UIC community after the attack. The school's police department said the victim was not associated with the school. It also said that UICPD was heading up the investigation. However, the witness, believing they recognized the attacker as a migrant living at the <laughs> living at the standard club, shelter in a loop, did some investigating of their own. They went to the shelter with video of the assailant and showed it to the security guard at the facility. Wow. Um, Hilton explained that the guard confirmed that the attacker had lived in the shelter since November and was well known to them you're getting free food you're getting free housing you don't have to work i'm sure you're getting some extra money here and there too and what you decide to do is commit robbery assault possible attempted rape and you're just like oh well i mean what's the problem and you, if she died because you said that you felt like or thought that she died you're just going to be like, ah, you, whatever. And these are the people that are being allowed to stay here. Three hours after the UIC attack, Hernandez followed another woman from the blue line at Irving Park. Um, it says, as the woman arrived home, Hernandez wrapped his arm around her uh, from behind and forced her due to the ground. Prosecutors classified the attack as an attempted robbery. And they expect to add unlawful restraint charges. They also charged him with criminal sexual abuse by force, aggravated battery by strangulation, and robbery in connection with the UIC case. Hmm. Uh, it said Judge Kelly McCarthy granted the state's protection, uh, detention petition. Exactly one week before the attacks on March 9th, he used the alias Luis Guevara, okay, instead of Hernandez, when Chicago police arrested him on a shoplifting allegation at TJ Maxx, 11 North State, according to the arrest report. He was released from the police station less than four hours later. So, you, you're robbing a, a week prior, a week prior, you go and rob a TJ Maxx. Okay. 
you rob a tbj max they let you out a couple hours later because you know whatever even though i'm sure you had no real identification or anything you're not even supposed to be here and then a week later you then go and attack two women who were minding their own business just because you tried to uh, sexually assault them or you sexually assaulted them and you robbed them and is anything going to happen because that's my thing okay so fine you arrest them whatever but is anything going to happen are you going to let them back out because that's something i've been noticing they're just getting let right back out to go right back out on the street and do whatever else that they want to do probably hit up another tj maxx or maybe go to a marshall's or home goods this time maybe instead of you know sexually assaulting somebody and because obviously he's a sexual predator as well instead of just sexually assaulting somebody and robbery you know robbing maybe killing is going to be next and maybe uh because chicago they said you could have illegals carrying guns now legally which is crazy so now it could be something where let's just have a mass shooting now right this could happen anything because and what will happen then would you actually lock them up then do people need to actually die before you're like ah you know what mm, i think we gotta get them off the street let me know what you all think down below